Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I welcome you all in this lecture. Today we are going to discuss the same thing in continuation to what we have learned earlier about the Kunsen to hit model. The most interesting thing in this regard that how we could say in what form of these hits are. The hit, remember, the hit what we noticed in case of familial fun hit and in case of uh, sporadic retinoblastoma we say that the individuals require two hits. Now uh, at that level I have mentioned just that there are particular mutations which should be uh, responsible for the disease formation and that mutation should be present at that particular gene and also it should encompass the diploid, the other alternate copy of that uh, genome. So, uh, but in the literature when we uh, are studying and further on uh, when we people studied about the retinoblastoma they came to know a one interesting term that is called loss of heterozygosity now uh, whenever you came across the literature uh, whenever you study more you will find out the term as LOH loss of heterozygosity so over here I am briefing you about the three forms of uh, forms through which the loss of heterozygosity is attained. This is something which is also what you can say in parallel to the mutations what we are expecting as over here. So irrespective of the first somatic hit mutation or the second somatic hit mutation we can infer that there is a loss of heterozygosity attained by the cell and this loss of heterozygosity is attributed by three main components. They are, number one is mitotic recombination. According to the mitotic recombination, what is happening is that there is one mutant allele. The mutant allele is labeled in blue color over here and the location is heterozygous because there is one RB present over here which is labeled as positive and the other alternate form is over here so the RB is not present in the other alternate allele but one allele is compensating the mechanism now this individual has at its S phase of chromosomal replication the two strands are replicated red is forming an alternate copy similarly the mutant allele is also forming a copy so G2 and M phase of cell cycle mitotic recombination is a thing which has been noticed uh, so far what you have studied about the meiotic recombination but we are talking over here as mitotic recombination so in this mitotic recombination the region of these two strands exchange so one over here and one over here so this crossing over this crossing over over here the red color is just normal appearance uh, even the green color is normal the blue color is an indication of any mutation something wrong right so there are two possibilities. Number one, segregation of chromatids at the end of mitosis. Now, upon this crossing over, the segregation part results into, again, a heterozygous appearance over here. One is normal, having a blue bar, negative. So it's having a negative and it is having a positive strand. All right. So again, there is a heterozygous combination. Retention of RB heterozygosity in daughter cells. This is how a individual carrying one mutant RB allele succeed. Remember, less than two years of age. So this is how they are surviving for less than two years of age. But there is another alternate possibility. And what is that? Let's look into it. The alternate possibility is there would be a segregation happening over here. So it retains as normal. Yes. And it also acts as a normal but over here both these two alleles segregate and they are retained inside a single cell so what is happening over here loss of heterozygosity so the initial information was rb plus and minus but over here one cell has been formulated which carries no functional rb allele and this combination the one is over here let's label it as A and the other alternate form carries one cell 
which doesn't retain any retinoblastoma functional gene in it, both blue lines. So this is the product of mitotic recombination where a loss of heterozygosity is inferred because of mitotic recombination of two segments. Remember the crossing overs? Okay. Now, in addition to this, the alternate mean for loss of heterozygosity is through gene conversion. Now, gene conversion phenomena is that somehow the DNA polymerase begins replication on template strand, which is labeled over here. So, but instead of going straight, as is already been observed, it somehow switch its position to the counter part and transcribe that information. So, uh, DNA polymerase begin replication on template strand of red chromosome. After copying, DNA polymerase jumps to the template strand of the homologous green chromosome. Now, after copying segment of green template strand, DNA polymerase jump back to template strand of red chromosome. This phenomena is also been reported. That means if this strand carries a what you can say the blue band the same structure what we have discussed earlier regarding mitotic recombination if it this region is blue in color that means the next progeny the next replication phenomena contains uh, two products two alleles for this thing so the information could be communicated through gene conversion mediated by DNA polymerase so this is a one form of hit which could be expected. The other form is hemizygosity. Don't be afraid with the term. It is pretty straightforward that initial heterozygosity attained by at RB locus, the mutant allele is labeled over here in blue color, but at non-distinction at mitosis. So what we are expecting as observed over here, a very decent two chromosomes, uh, two alternate alleles are present individually in each cell, one cell, two cells, and then there is a possibility of alternate exchange, so one and two cells. But somehow, these alleles fail to segregate properly, fail to segregate properly. In that failure, the chromosomes segregation leads to the subsequent loss of extra chromosome. Over here, the three copies are transferred to one cell and one copy is retained over here okay so there is a formation of two cells there is a formation of two cells like a and b as mentioned in the mitotic recombination segment but during the subsequent course the unnecessary chromosome is being lost and the, unfortunately the unextra chromosome which is being lost is usually the normal one and this leads to rb negative. So again, loss of heterozygosity is achieved. Loss of heterozygosity, which is expected over here, over here the information still remains RB positive from here and RB negative. This is just the initial replication. So we are writing it as RB plus and minus. Based on this is a cell which is at the phase of cell division. So the chromosome contains an additional chromatid all right so this is an additional chromatid that's why i write from red color plus and from blue color minus over here so a single cell carrying this whole two chromosome is not uh, properly segregated so it's a non disjunctional uh, segregation at mitosis phase but over here the subsequent extra chromosome is lost which unfortunately is the healthy one so we retain loss of chromosome and this loss of chromosome is uh, the loss of heterozygosity and this cell, this cell is the problem child. It will be responsible for tumor formation. Okay, And the same over here, the normal cell has retained the normal ability and it will be carrying on the normal functions but this one is responsible for tumor initiation. So what we learn from this brief video is that according to Kundesen hit model the two hits may not necessarily be the mutations what we are expecting the mutations 
may be uh, what you can say a longer uh, phenomena which are uh, expected to occur but apart from mutations there are certain other things which could also infer this region that's why we uh, we label the term as mitotic recombination then gene conversion and then hemizygosity now these are the three modes through which loss of heterozygosity is being attained and this loss of heterozygosity could be the first somatic deletion or uh, could be called as first hit or the second hit that is responsible for the initiation of tumor in case of tumor suppressor genes and in case of a recessive cancer origin we expect two hit theory two hit theory for sporadic breast cancer esophageal or uh, retinoblastoma cases we expect the first hit would be of uh, any mutation the second could also be followed by a loss of heterozygosity or vice versa initially there is a mitotic recombination happening somewhere and that mitotic recombination is uh, influencing badly on the cell and then it is also leading out the further information onwards uh, thank you very much for your time and attention this is how uh, loss of heterozygosity influence the ultimate fate of uh, tumor so it could lead to familial as well as sporadic cancer this is a very important phenomena i want you to go through it uh, from this video in a very conceptualized way that the hits doesn't always show mutations they could also be caused by the chromosomal rearrangements and the form of arrangements are mentioned thank you